welcome back into another episode of the Bet On Me podcast. It is Wednesday, August 10th, 2022, and where has the time gone? I don't know, but football is tomorrow. I'm excited about that. Uh, we're going to take a look at the game tomorrow between the New York Giants and the New England Patriots, and of course, we also have the Tennessee Titans taking on the Baltimore Ravens. And I told you what I thought about the Titans Ravens game the other day. So today we're going to talk about this new England Patriots, uh, New York giants game. If we saw anything from Danny dimes and what he, uh, looks like he's capable of this season, it's not looking like much. Uh, I didn't have much faith in him anyway, coming from Duke, uh, when you draft a player, you know, normally when you draft a guy, from the middle of nowhere, like North Dakota State or something like that. And he comes to the league and he sets it on fire. But in this case, you drafted a guy from Duke who really never played. I mean, his tenure at Duke didn't really impress anybody. So I don't understand why they drafted him so high. Maybe it was because somebody's daddy knew somebody. I don't know. But the kid doesn't look like he could play NFL football. If you watched uh, the other day, from reps on, uh, you know, first team practice, uh, he literally threw the ball twenty yards away from receivers behind him, in front of him, like he didn't, like he didn't understand the routes that were going on. It, it's almost like he took all that, that Giants money and didn't work on any of the playbook. I, I don't know, uh, but as for tomorrow, it's uh, preseason. Not sure if we're going to see any of the first team for New England. We may, we may not. I don't know. Uh, seeing how they got that young QB up there in New England, Bill Belichick might put him out there for a series to see what he can do. But if uh, if you want my opinion about the Giants, you're going to see Danny Dimes out there all night because he needs as much fucking practice as he can get. I mean, this kid. <laughs> Just it, go look at the the video from that. It is it's atrocious. If that's you know, and they're saying, oh, you know, they're just getting warmed up. Yeah, if that's if that's getting warmed up, then you know what the hell is is game time look like? Because that's that's ridiculous. Even on a bad day, you shouldn't. <laughs> uh, and I don't know where he got the nickname Danny Dimes. That because if that's it should be called Danny Quarters because he's throwing them twenty five yards away. But I'm gonna go with the New England Patriots in that one. I'm gonna take them on the point spread plus three. And I think that would be a pretty good spot to be in. And uh, also the Titans and Baltimore are playing. You know, if you're feeling crazy, uh, you could take the over, but I I don't think so. I, you know, I took the under in the Hall of Fame game and it went completely over, which was nuts. I didn't think it would. But in this game with Tennessee Titans and the Baltimore Ravens, I'm looking at maybe the under here, the 31 and a half. I really don't think either one of these teams – I don't think you're going to see – I definitely don't think you're going to see Derrick Henry. Uh, you're probably not going to see Tannehill because for some reason the Titans think he's some kind of elite quarterback or something, something that needs to be, you know, kept secret or, you know, not injured. until Look, get that guy out there. Let him get reps. I don't care if it's with the fourth team, fifth team, sixth team, whatever. He needs to be throwing the ball to somebody – you know, at least somebody in our uniform, like, you know, during the season, like, so let him get used to that. So he doesn't throw it to everybody else. And I saw online the other day where somebody was padding off stats about Tannehill, how he's actually not that bad of a quarterback. And uh, let me explain something to you. What has he done? Like what I live here in this state and I hear all kinds of stuff about it all the time, 24 seven, it's Titan football, ball football. And let me tell you right now, nobody in this – I don't hear anybody in this state rambling off his stats. I mean, you might be online. You might be a, a Tannehill sympathizer, but I, for one, am not. Uh, I don't want anybody to lose their job. I don't – you know, I mean, he's an NFL quarterback, but there's a lot of NFL quarterbacks, I think, that are out there that shouldn't be NFL quarterbacks because, I mean, like, I don't know. You know, you just – from week to week, you see the talent level, and it's like, oh, not everybody can do this. No, not everybody gets an opportunity to do it because, yeah, just like Danny Dimes. Like, what's that guy doing in the league? Until they show me something different, that's cool. But, you know, I don't I don't see it, and I wouldn't put my money up against it. So, uh, Titans under 31.5 against Baltimore Ravens. 
this is this is something I want to talk about real quick. This uh this future bet if they're still available. Let me pull this up real quick. Futures for um I think it's the Lions to get over I think it's what is it, six wins? Let's see here. Let's see if I can oh, hold on here. Let me let me go back here. Guys, if you're uh if you're looking for a place to find the best odds and you know have the best tools to make your bets, you can go over to Capertech. The link is down below in the description. They have all the best tools, the bet finder, the betting trends, the game cap census, and the games cat the game simulator. It's where I go to make all my picks. Really helps me out. I also keep them tracked there. You can log in, become a member. It's absolutely free to sign up. Use any username you want. Log right in, and you can get access to these picks. Uh, member picks are paid picks, but we do give free picks out, and you have free access to everything on the site. Uh, just make sure that you become a member over there and sign up for Capertech, guys. That is Capertech.com. Down below in the description, you can get the link, guys, and you can see all of our picks posted there we're looking for these futures all right here we go this is this is just the titans uh, yeah i can't don't really see anyone else Right now, I can't find those. I'll have to look for them some other time, guys. But yeah, uh, I don't think I know that the the number I think is like a six and a half, six wins, something like that. I don't. I, everyone's taking it. I mean, that's like I think it's the most favorited bet in Vegas right now is uh, Detroit over six wins. And I just I don't know. I think you know, I hate I hate to do it to the city of Detroit, but I just don't think it's gonna happen. I mean, if you want to throw your money away and donate it to the sports books, that's fine. But I honestly just do not see Detroit. I mean, you know, you can go up there and you can, you know, you can do all the speeches you want and, you know, tell people all the hyenas need to get out of the way and whatever. But, you know, I mean, and dude's great. Dude's great. He really is. But, uh, yeah, it's going to take more than the coach trying to give motivational speeches. I mean, the guy's going to run out of motivation uh, eventually. I mean, there's only so many things he can say to try to motivate him. I'm the lion. I mean, he's literally going through all the, the, you know, the video, the YouTube video, motivational, the shorts, whatever that you're scrolling through and you see it's like, well, the lion just waits until the hyena gets close and then it tears the fuck out of it to show it's the lion. Like you can't, you can't do that every day with NFL players. These are grown men. Eventually, they're going to look at you and, you know, like, this guy's gimmicky, right? I mean, are we actually going to do anything and win? And, you know, they had a player uh, during, what was it, training camp, uh, crying, talking about And they're on Hard Knocks as well. I haven't seen the episode. I'm going to have to watch it. But um, they had a player crying during training camp, talking about, he, you know, he's wanting to win. And that's not who they were and all this. And, it, it, you know, it is who they are because that's their winning re that's their record they're terrible they're the lions they're always terrible they're the team that on thanksgiving you're like oh who's going to beat the lions this year you know i mean that's a game you can always mark up for an easy win but i just don't see the lions going over the six wins i really hate to say that i don't know the quarterback situation really i don't know what's going on i don't even know who's on the roster like i said i went to watch the uh, hard knocks and i'll find all that tonight out uh there's a lot of team like there's that's a, that's a team I really probably would stay away from when I'm betting because uh, probably real dangerous. Uh, I feel like they're going to win in some weird spots this year that you're not going to be expecting. They'll probably get to about like five wins. I'd say they get to five wins. I don't think that if the number six and a half, I'd say it goes under. They could get to six wins, but they don't go over six. They don't go over six at all. There's no way they get to seven. I'm I'm calling five wins for the Detroit Lions, and you can mark this on the calendar on the tenth of August right here, 2022. I don't think they're going to get over five wins. They might get to five. They won't get over five. If if, if I was going to take a bet, it would be under five and a half. You people that think they're going to get six, where, where, what are you seeing this? Like if Jeff, Jared Goff is the quarterback, what, like, I don't know. I don't know. You can, you can donate your money all you want to. 
Uh, and I think that's the podcast today, guys. Thanks for checking us out. Make sure you follow everywhere, like and subscribe over on YouTube, the socials, Instagram, uh, Twitter, you know, all that good stuff. And be on the lookout for, you know, posts about plays that we make. We got free posts. We have picks that you can come check out over on the website. Uh, you can get that link down below in the description for the MV- MVP consulting. MVP sports consulting is what it is. And you can go over there and check out, get a sports package. If that is what you're into, try to make a little extra money. The link is down below in the description. Guys, thank you so much for watching the podcast. We'll see you next time. We got football coming tomorrow. We got football. Let's get it. Bye.